guys, this is having a lovely hair day. So today I'm going to review the Carol's Daughter um, Green Supreme Conditioner Shampoo and the Leave-In Tonic. So if you want to know what I thought of them and how they reacted into my hair and how I use them, please keep on watching and remember to subscribe. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of videos and more coming. So to make sure that you don't miss any, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. So I'm going to start with the Green Supreme um, Sulfate Free Shampoo, and this is um, from Carol's Daughter, and um, it says it claims to help weak, undernourished hair. It um, it like claims to give nourishing strength. Um, it creates resilient strength and restores healthy looking shine. And um, it says on the bottle, on the front of the bottle, it says it contains matcha, coconut, and moringa. And um, it, it has no silicone, sulfates, parabens, and artificial colors. So the next one in the line is the Green Supreme um, Vitalizing Conditioner. And it, it claims to have, have a, um, a strength and length care system. And it helps weak, undernourished hair. And it creates nourishing strength, um, resilient strength, and restores healthy looking shine. And just like all the other um, products in the line, it has matcha, coconut, and moringa. So I guess I forgot to include a clip about the Libra Tonic, but this is a strength and length system. It restores healthy looking shine, it adds nourishing strength, and it creates resilient strength. And it contains matcha, coconut, and moringa. And it contains no artificial colors, no mineral oil, no parabens, and no petroleum. And it is also an all-purpose tonic for the hair. It helps condition, nourish, and enhance shine. Just to let you guys know what I did already, I slept with a pre poo in overnight. I used the Righteous Roots um, pre poo oil, um, the pre poo um, pre wash detangler, and then I used the um, One Condition Decadence by Diva Curl, and I just um, I just like Dutch braided it up. I want to go wet my hair. Okay, so my hair is soaking wet. I'm going to go in with the Green Supreme Sulfate Free Shampoo, and um, first off, this smells a little bit. Eh. That's what it looks like. It's pretty thick. So it's very creamy. It's into a nice lather. So I'm just gonna check through my scalp. So for a deeper clean, I'm going to go in with my Vanity Planet Scalp Massaging Brush. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little bit more of the shampoo. And I'm going to bring it towards the ends of my hair. So this shampoo provides a good amount of slip, especially for a shampoo. Okay, so I'm going to go rinse this out. I'm going to go in with the conditioner. It smells the same as the other one. Very creamy. The slip on this is, I'm not going to speak too soon, but like right now, it's actually pretty good. So I'm just getting a tiny bit more. I'm going to add it to my roots. And I'm going to go on my dummy brush. So after I brush my hair, I'm going to Dutch braid it. Okay, so um, I just finished. That was literally the fastest I've ever conditioned my hair. I'm going to leave this in for about... Um, Maybe like 10 minutes or... Okay, so I just, um, I just finished washing off the conditioner and this is what it looks like. And even though I brushed my hair under the faucet, it is tangled. It is the Green Supreme, the Green Supreme Leave-In Tonic. I'm actually going to part this in four. So I'm just starting from the ends. Um, right now, I feel like I'm just spraying water on my hair, um, but um, I won't speak too soon. I just applied it to my hands because I can't deal with spray leave-ins. So I'm just going to brush this through. Okay, so I'm just going to scrunch it upwards. Ok, 
Okay, so now I'm going to work on this section doing the same um, motions. So I'm going to do the same on this side. So now I'm just flipping my hair over and I'm scrunching the back just to make sure that it is all covered. Okay, so I just finished applying the product and um, this is what it looks like. It is wet and I just applied the um, the leave-in tonic from Carol's daughter, but um, I'm going to plop it with my microfiber towel. So my hair is still like damp or like I'm, like almost wet, but um, this is after I plopped. The ends are a little bit frizzy, but besides that, they are. Uh, my hair is decent, so I'm just going to continue to let this dry. So this is what my hair looks like when it's like 80% um, dry. There's a little bit of frizz going on so far, um, but the curls are still defined, which is surprising, but we have to see what it's going to look like and if it still stays defined or if it still stays, stays um, with minimal frizz after I diffuse. So here I was trying something new, but um, at the same thing I will f flip my hair upside down while I was diffusing, but I will alternate between warm and cool. So 20 seconds I will do um, cool and then 20 seconds I will do warm and I will alternate between the two and I will cut my hair with the diffuser attachment. So I will just do this until my roots are dry and I noticed that with the leave-in because it is a light, really light leave-in, um, my hair did dry pretty quick. So I would just do it until my roots and my um, ends of my hair are dry. I seriously thought that my hair was going to look so parched. Do you see this definition? And then I literally haven't fluffed, I haven't done anything, I just seriously took the diffuser out of my hair and then I, wa I like looked closely in the camera and then I walked in the bathroom and my, my, I, I was like so surprised. But honestly, my hair is looking so good. Um, I know with my hair specifically, my hair will look really good at one point and then like an hour or two later my hair will look bad when it comes to dimethicone and, and styling products. So I will update you guys um, if my hair just looks like terrible in like two hours. These are what came up after, the, um, after I finished diffusing and I'm really, really liking it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how I thought about the products. Okay, so um, before when I had, um, when I was shampooing my hair and I said that this was making my hair mad up with the um, Green Supreme Sulfur Free Shampoo, um, I, um, I think that it was because I didn't wash my hair for a week. But, um, the pros basically is for, um, it lathers up great, um, for basically it lathers up great for sulfate free shampoo. Um, what else? It was moisturizing a little bit for my hair, and, um, it just felt good in my hair. And then, um, the cons are, I just, even with, like, the, this is a con for all the products besides the leave-in spray, is that I just don't, I'm not too, I'm not a big fan of the smell. With this one, I don't really like the scent that much, but it did a good job with, um, um, lathering and cleansing and just giving my hair a fresh start to, um, apply the products. Now the next product I'm going to talk about is the Green Supreme Vitalizing Conditioner by Carol's Daughter. Cons are that I don't really like the scent too much, too strong of, like, a kale scent, and, um, this, and uh, it has isopropyl alcohol, which can dry out hair for people. So um, with me personally, I don't feel like it dried out my hair, but with other people, um, it does have a chance of drying out your hair since it has isopropyl alcohol. But um, the pros are, it for me personally, it was moisturizing. It gave amazing slip for a silicone-free um, conditioner. Um, it felt very moisturizing. It was just honestly a great conditioner. Now the final product we're going to talk about is the Green Supreme Carol's Daughter um, Leave-In Tonic. And um, I have mixed feelings about this product too. Although it did give amazing results as you can tell, um, I feel like 
I don't know. Maybe it's just per personal preference, but I don't really like le um I don't really like leave-in sprays. But uh, the pros are it's not as strong as the other scents of the kale scent. It's more of like a refreshing kind of um like a refreshing kind of green tea scent. And then um it was very moisturizing. Even with only a leave-in conditioner, my hair feels very moisturized and it's very voluminous and defined. So I wasn't even expecting that just because it's only a leave-in conditioner and I won't expect a leave-in conditioner to define my hair when it's supposed to only moisturize my hair. But it defined my hair and it gave me and it gave me volume. So I really like this leave-in conditioner. Although it does have silicones and isopropyl alcohol in um, some of the products in it, it did moisturize my hair. So so what I meant to say here was, if you are like modified CG method and you don't mind using isopor alcohol or um, dimethicone products, um, this is a really good hair care line that you can look into and um, it's really affordable too, so. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and um, hit the notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I upload on Sundays and um, remember to wear your crown, not a frown, and stay beautiful and I love you guys and oh, let me know what you um, thought or if you have your tried Carol's Daughter products in the comments. But um, remember to wear your crown, not a frown, and stay beautiful and I love you guys. Bye!